Sorry for the mic, um, sorry it sounds really weird, I have it set up in this way, which, um, basically has this little thing on top, and, uh, it's a really weird setup, but, anyways, um, in this video, today, um, we are going to be, no, not we, I am going to be showing you the best, um, video editor, which is right here, um, it's called VSDC Free Video Editor. It's one of the best video editors that I've used, but it's just like, it's just like Sony Vegas, um, 9 and above, but I guess, um, less professional, less options, but it still kind of has the same stuff. You still can record, I mean, you still can render, um, around 4K to 2K, um, you can do 60 FPS, but sadly this computer does not handle it. So, um, before I show you it, I just want to show you my RAM, um, which I have 4, so it's sad, yeah, I have 4. But as you can see, I have 4, and then my graphics card, the NVIDIA GeForce Go 6150, which I believe only has, be quiet, which only has like 1 to, um, 1 to 2. Gigabytes of RAM. But anyways, let's get started. Let's see how fast it loads. And this is going to be the first time I loaded it since I booted the laptop up. Okay. It's, um, it's going pretty fast. Um, unlike Premiere Pro or Photoshop or any of the Adobe softwares, this one's, um, pretty going fast because... For a 4 gigabyte laptop, if I was to load, for example, After Effects on here, which I don't have anymore, but, um, if I was to load that, it would take around 5 minutes. So, it's only been about, um, 20 seconds, and, uh, it's still not loaded. Um, second time is a charm, because it, it really has the data on it, and it would load, but as you can see, here it is, it's really simple, all you have to do is after you download it, by the way, I recommend getting it from the actual website, I got it from, I believe, um, CNET, and, um, that, that tried to give me malware, but I bypassed that by clicking on customize, I mean, um, yeah, customize, and then I unchecked what it was going to install, so, remember, um, it will come up with a message saying, um, Whatever item it is, um, is, uh, sorry, I can hear me typing, but, is, uh, and then it'll ask, um, and then it's going to be under a file, um, it's going to be, this is going, and then under that, sorry guys, I'm stuttering, but after, under that's going to have two options, or with checkboxes, um, one of them is going to be express, so express, and then the other one is going to be customized. It's going to um, be on default um, express, just like this, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on customize. There's going to be three of them, I believe, depending on um, which one you get. I got it from CNET. Um, that one you're going to be expecting, um, three pieces of malware, but you can easily get, um, get away with it, or, un not really, um, you don't need to install it by clicking on customize and unchecking the following boxes under. So, how this works is that you're going to click on new project, you're going to click on building project, and then you're going to select whatever one you want. As you can see, I can't really do 60, oh well, you can't do that, but, um, you can, basically, um, I do 720p, you can, um, make it in 4K or 2K by clicking on custom resolution and then setting it right here, so, I'm chosen, have chosen to do 720p, which is, um, 16 by 9 because it's HD, but, 
Um, it's not 1080p, but you don't need 1080p to watch a video. As long as you can see my video, which is in 720p right now, you can watch it, right? So, I don't really get the point for 1080p, except for the fact that you're showing off that you have a really good laptop, and you can, um, do really fast, whatever you call it, but, um, but, the thing is that this, this, um, render video is pretty fast, um, I'm not gonna lie, it, it renders it pretty fast, I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know, but, so, um, as you see, I'm going to get out a video that was ready to upload, for example, so, you drag it into this, um, into this box right here, and then after that, it's not going to pop up, what you need to do is you need to actually click on the screen, and then it'll come up with this, and then you're going to select it, and then, wait, it's audio. I don't know what's wrong with it. It doesn't usually do this. So let me just this one. So you're gonna drag it in. You're gonna click on the black screen where the plus sign is. It's gonna come like this. And as you see you won't see it. The reason why, by the way, it's gonna be a spoiler in my video, is because um just like Sony Vegas, you need to actually align it. But the easy part is that under coordinates you can just click set same size as parents, I mean. And then it will line up. So, um, after that, you can basically drag in your intro, which, if you haven't seen my last video, you should see it because that's an update with my new intro. So, you're gonna drag that in, click it again, and then you can click the same size as partition. You're going to drag this, like that. There you go. So, after that, you you can basically, I, I'm not going to do the outro because you're going to see it and I don't really want to ruin it, but it's going to be the same size. And then to preview it, all you have to do is click on preview and it'll show up. Start lagging. I am my, um, what? I am my, nah, panty can't lose me in the But anyways, um. Now, I want to show you the thing that I like about this that's different from other, uh, other kinds of video editing software. Just like Sony Vegas, you can do picture in picture, which I like a lot, because as you see, what we're going to do is drag this right here. And there's this extra part right here, but it's not going to render that part. That's what I really like about it. So... If we were to get this, we can select it, but we have to be in the scene zero depending on where you're at. And then there's going to be these squares, you can drag it, and then it will, you can like put it right here for, um, and it will be there. So, let's, and as you can see, um, it was Gabe, it was Gabe. Don't mind that. But, <laughs> as you see the picture right there, showed up. It's just like Sony Vegas. But, I want to show you the um, best part about this. And this is also going to show you how to render because um, it's kind of weird how to render. What I really like about this is how fast it can render videos. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click on export project. Then, you're going to um, select your settings. And then you're going to click on this one, convert files. Because as you can see, there's nothing here. Make sure you have it set to whatever thing. This is just going to be called a tutorial. Wait, let me type it. You have to go on change name and then change it. I don't know why. Bandicam's like, it's being really weird. But as you see, it shows you all your video properties and um, audio properties, you see I'm using MP3, 720p, 6, um, 30fps, uh, yeah, so, 
one thing, sorry for my voice. I I'm actually listening to my voice right now, and it sounds really, um, it sounds really poopy. But yeah, anyways, what you need? Sorry if I keep on breathing. Like, <laughs> okay, so after after you've um decided and checked everything's correct, as you can see, these are both working. If they're not, then uh, it will come up with a check. I mean X, obviously. But um, tools. I don't find really helps, but if you go to export project and click on convert fi files, as you can see on the top here, or if you hover, if you have Windows, whatever, and above, as you can see, for a um, low-end computer like mine, it, um, it loads videos, I mean, you know, it does videos pretty fast, look at this, 3% already, usually on this type of computer, I'm not going to do this, or should I? Yeah, after I say this, I'm going to pause it and show you it later on. But anyways, I can see it's going really fast. But like I was going to say before I keep on interrupting myself, I like this because when the video is done, it is such a small file. As you can see, if I go inside my, um, my new intro, which I've used Blender to render, not uh, rhymed, but... As you can see, if I go here, we're going to be comparing comparing it with that. Um, so you can see this is. Come on. Anyways, <laughs> don't don't mind that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you another video because I want to show you an example of one. Um, if we click here or here or here or here, there you go. See, look. Um. ABI files, as you see, if you didn't see it already, we're doing an ABI, which, or not, no, right there, see ABI, so, as you see, this is an ABI, and look how big the files are, this can waste a lot of space, especially if you have a really small hard drive, like around 160, so, um, that, that's what I really like about it, um, I don't know if I have my videos, uh, cause, if you were to, I don't have a look at me, sorry, you're just looking through my files like a little creeper, it's in 12% ready, that's pretty quick, um, I don't have it right here with me right now, but, um, if you, if you have like a, if you know how to, and you get, you get like a, if you were, oh sorry guys, I can't talk today, but, uh, can't talk today. But anyways, if you have a video that you recorded from the PS4 and then you transfer it to USB and then you um, upload to your computer, then it would be around, um, if it's just 5 minutes, it would be around 800 megabytes, which um, pretty much sucks because it will it'll take a, um, if you're using something like Wondershare, uh, Sony Vegas, and especially if you have After Effects or Premiere and you have it on the wrong settings, then you could you could be wasting a lot of um, mag um, megabytes, gigabytes. So that's what I really like about this. It renders videos in really small format. As you see, it's on 22% already. Um, once again, for a low-end computer like mine. That's that's pretty good, especially saying that I only have four megabytes. Me megabytes. Did I say megabytes? I meant gigabytes. But anyways, that's that's really good for a um. As you can see, I have a Nvidia GeForce Go 6150. That's really good. Um, that's a really good speed, especially since you're getting a really small file. Um, for a kind of laptop like this. So I highly recommend this. Um this video editing software because one it's free two it renders videos really fast three it's just like Sony Vegas but really easy to use um that's what I like about it I'm not I'm not like a professional editor so uh there's so much stuff I can talk about compared to Sony Vegas because I've used that myself I use um Sony Vegas 13 and I honestly didn't like it because of how long the rendering was so, like I said, I really like this, I, I really like this, um, video editing software, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and then set this so you can see it. As you see, I have a 14 minute video right here. If I was to render this with my intro and outro, because, you know, I need to add down it. If I was to render that on there, it would probably be done in about 30 minutes. Usually, if I use Wondershare Video Editor, which is a um, pretty easy to use, I've, um, I've used it for at least um, a year, and I really like it, but ever since I came across this, it's been, uh, I don't know, I really like it, um, especially since how fast it goes. Sorry guys, if I keep on saying that, I just really like how fast it is. Um, so anyways... Um, I'll be back once the video finishes, and if you saw what I did earlier, I can see it's almost to 50%, and it's only been about 3 minutes, so you, have to, you can wait 10, less than 10 minutes for a, um, let's see, how long is this video? I don't know, but you can wait a very short time for this kind of video. Um, a few days ago... Um, which was actually the last video, actually. Sorry. I uploaded a three-minute video, and it actually uploaded way faster than this. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet now, and I'm gonna wait until the, um, thing finishes. So, I'll be back, um, right now. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> Rude delay. But anyways, um... That's weird. But it took only a minute after I turned off bank cam, or not really turned off, pause it. So it seems like it's just because um, main cam sucking up my RAM and it didn't have enough to finish that fast. But if you have a computer over 4 gigabytes, I really recommend it because of how fast it takes. So, um, as you can see, you, can, you don't need to save it because it's already rendered. Of course, if you want to check, if you have like the worst computer in the world, then you can base you can basically check um, that recording before you edit the actual software. So as you see, here it is, with a little bit cut, and as you see, it's only ten. No, it it's only sorry for that. I burped. Sorry. So it's only ten megabytes. It's only 8 megabytes. That's really amazing for something like this because um, if we look at this one, or not that one, um, if we look at this one, I um, ex exported, I think it's burned. I don't know. This is something I exported from, hello, I talked to myself again, sorry. Sorry for that. <laughs> oh, my mom's here in a weird... She's like, look at me in a weird face. But anyways, um, this is a really good software. I'm gonna talk quieter here now. And you see, this is only, um, less than a minute. It's only 30 seconds, which is my new outro. You're gonna hear that in this video. Which should be a bit close in a minute. But, and you see, this is less, this one's less, er, because it's 10 seconds, I believe. Um, cool stuff. But, that's 7 megabytes. So, that's, that's really good for, um, and you see, Bandicam did 81 megabytes in a few, in a few minutes. Um, that's a lot, especially, like I said, if you don't have But, that's... I have a lot of reasons why, and if you want me to go over that, then I'll make a separate video about that, but anyways, please do this video, make sure you like, subscribe for more content, and I'll be seeing you guys later.